Hello and welcome to the DFS underscore PhD show for today, the 17th of May. Remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough, and gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. <clears throat> Might as well be us. Not me. Um, no, not yesterday. Um, with Mike Conley uh, playing and playing okay, eh, I, I didn't have the edge. I didn't, you know, didn't get it right. It was fine. It was just not, not up. So didn't love that. So yeah, don't even get me started. On the friggin' Scheffler situation. As always, the show is sponsored by Prediction Strike. You can use promo code PHD um, for more uh, the other deposit match, best deposit match deal. Uh, okay, let's see what do we got here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're also talking a lot of pick six, tracking every uh, filling rate. They're they're filling most of them, but sometimes they're not one hundred percent filling them. All right, we're still building. Yeah. I wanted to tell you my rules, tell you my punt plays. My punt plays are, in order, I think they could score points. Um, Jericho Smith, Jalen, Sm Jericho Sims, Jalen Smith, and Doug McDermott. Was was Sims cold cut out? No, he's still in this rotation, right? That was the 10th. That's the last game, right? Oh, no. That was the last non-blowout. The the last was the last game game. Okay, the last game game, he was not in the rotation. So, I mean, he might not get in the rotation unless it's a blowout. And, I mean, it, it could be a blowout. So, you know, this is not a game seven yet. There still could be a couple of smidge minutes for these guys. And so I think it's important to leave them in. But I'm also playing a pretty minimal amount on this slate. I'm going to watch the WNBA, man. I'm totally, I'm getting totally into the WNBA. All right. Uh, the rules, wait, probably didn't need the Conley or NAW smash rule for this slate. Go ahead and unclick that. But max one of Precious or Burks still makes sense. Max one of OKC centers makes sense. That's a Sims possibility. Max one of Miles Turner and Isaiah Jackson hitting their maxes. Uh, max one of Nemhard and McConnell. Max one of Toppin or Nesmith, whether they're going small ball, whether they're going to go a regular four and Nesmith. Okay, so that results in the following values. I'm rebuilding it because I've also added in those uh, punt plays. I wanted to consider the possibility of zeros. Um, so in the captain, I think you can play almost everybody. I did leave these guys. I'll probably regret it, but nobody's going to play them as captains. If you want to, that's fine. Just jam everybody and hope it's a blowout and you get six minutes of each of them. Um, six minutes of any of them, one of them could smash. I'm going to unclick them for now because I don't, I don't want that. Uh, Alec Burks is, yeah, I mean, there, a lot of, pretty much anybody could score a bunch of points today. So I think, uh, you could play anybody and captain value wise, the actual best value, Isaiah Jackson. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, how many minutes did he even play in that game that was, as it headed to a blowout? 13. Oh, that's the 10th. So the blowout game, where's the blowout game? The one was the 14th, the most recent blowout. I looked at the most recent non-blowout to get a good sense of what their actual rotations were. Um, and I'm looking for who? I'm considering Isaiah Jackson's minutes. So Isaiah Jackson, not many minutes. Six minutes only when... Wow. So Miles went out and Siakam at the five, and then they went with Siakam at the five until Obi Toppin came out. Wow. Okay. So they went small ball Obi, Obi Toppin. All right. So I got to get that rule right. I don't have that rule right right now. It's a uh, it's a max one of uh, not just Indiana City fouls. This is more like a, it, this this rule should include uh, small ball Obi Toppin as a as a possibility. So he goes in there. Maybe, how does he go in there? I'm going to put him as a one of three here. I might do it a two and include Siakam as well. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Because I think any two of those could hit in some weird circumstance. But not more than that. But this is, no, this is like who gets extended, right? So Miles. So the people, okay, okay. This is, right, right, right. Sorry, this is a different rule. So Toppin's out of this rule. Um, this is the right rule for Indiana City fouls, but then we also have a separate rule that is, uh, let me add it. 
The separate rule is Indiana, Indiana goes small ball. Indiana goes small ball. And that is whether you get backup, good backup minutes for um, Isaiah, Isaiah Jackson or not. And the not case is uh, Obi Toppin. So Obi Toppin and Isaiah Jackson are the parts of this rule. I think I might boost as Obi Toppin even more after looking at that. How, how many minutes did he get there? That was kind of a lot. Yeah, 21 minutes for Toppin. He can really get some points per minute, blocks, steals, rebounds. I'm going to have to boost him a little bit more. Yeah, he's already cheap. I don't know. We'll see what I get to. Oh, okay. The lineups are here. All right, let's have a look. So the, obviously I'm going to put the, the new rules in. I like them, um, so I'm going to keep them. But currently, it'll be based on what I just told you. Yeah, we get a ton of Isaiah Jackson. So yeah, I'll, I'll do well, what I think the chance is they go, they don't go small ball. <clears throat> they lost that game, right? I mean, they lost real bad. Am I, am I thinking right? Uh, yeah, this is the last close game. The the one where they went small ball, they lost by 30, right? So, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I think they, I think they might learn a lesson there, guys. Uh, right? They, they, yeah, the close one, right? The close one was the one where Isaiah Jackson was playing. Let's go back to the close one. So, this one, they won this one, and I guess they probably won going small ball or something. Yeah, it was just a massive blowout, but they did. This is when they introduced that top in rotation. So top in was going to be on the pace for that. And Isaiah Jackson was on pace for the exact same crap rotation. OK, but that didn't work when they didn't hit shots. So we'll see. Do they go back to this game, two that they also won? And then they made a change, though. Right. So like they didn't give Isaiah Jackson the same rotation in future games. So I don't know. I. It's not really Jackson or Toppin, is it? Because they played alongside each other in this rotation, I don't know. I'm still I'm still figuring out what to do with this rotation. You let me know if in the chat or uh or yeah Discord or whatever what you're thinking. But I think Isaiah Jackson, you got like a what 15 percent chance it's him that for some reason has to get extended. It's ridiculous for him to be so low owned. Uh, but yeah, mostly you're doing guys like Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, Siakam, Miles um, Turner, and Obi Toppin, who I also agree is going to be under owned given his like possibility they just run him out there i mean dudes are going to do that it's the playoffs a good coach is going to play i mean uh, i don't think tibbs is a good coach for playing guys 48 minutes all season long that's a mistake but for for get working guys up to that and doing that in the playoffs when necessary that's a good coach you understand the importance of every single minute so that's why i boosted some of these guys at the bottom that i haven't talked about why i boosted them i'm not even getting to any of aaron neesmith and i boosted him you know like these guys are going to play a couple extra minutes because they're just going to ride their starters all they possibly can for every ounce of value unless they're messing it up, messing up. So that's why we had the other rules about like, you know, if somebody's if McConnell goes off. Right. I mean, I don't think they're going to bench McConnell if he's going off. I, I just don't think in a, in a situation like this backs against the wall at home. Let the guy shoot, man. I mean, like, let somebody do something for you guys. So if he if he's missing him, he's out. If he's hitting him, I don't know. I'm not using the dupe rules anymore, by the way. I'm just using salary restriction since that's something we talked about before. Um, yeah, quickly, I guess, you know, I'm not actually pressed for time. So let me look at yesterday's. Oh, I thought that was up. Did I have that up? Oh, well, let's look at yesterday's. Right. I was looking at the golf. Yesterday's NBA. I just want to look at the showdowns and make sure that the salary restrictions and stuff we're doing are, are reasonable. Yep. Oh, no, this is my build. Yeah. So obviously I got to go contests. My builds were bad. Don't copy the ones from yesterday. So, okay. Well, the ones with the 100K. Who won 100K and how did it look? It's important to do contest review, guys. Got to do a little bit of contest review. Oh, good good for you. I I think, uh, hmm, is this Ski Basher? No, I don't know who that is. Nasri Captain, 49.8. Almost full salaries, but a little bit out of our range. 49.8. How many dupes? This is all the same lineup, right? One, two, three. So three dupes. That's not bad. All right. So 49.8 is in play. I'm going to change my range to include 49.8 because three dupes is too nice not to have that lineup because I have a weird salary restriction. I think. I mean, 50,000 for the next one, but I bet it has way too many dupes. Yeah. 
I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. It's gross. It's too many dupes for me. I don't I want like 19 dupes. So yeah, I think I think I still have to let up. I think 49.8 is a nice happy medium. 49.6 is being a little bit too much of a contrarian. Because three dupes, that's like that's serious money. I can't be like, oh no, you guys only won ding 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 fifty thousand dollars or whatever it is. It's good. I'm trying to win that in a number of competitions. So Okay, I think that's all I got to say. Um, remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough. And gosh darn it, someone's going to win that money. Might as well be...